Hey Dreamers, this is Saku and welcome to a new video. In this, I'll be showing you how to make awesome looking sand from scratch. This was a request of a subscriber and oh boy, sand really isn't an easy one, but I'll try. Now, this tutorial is a little different since I'll more likely be showing you techniques on how you can achieve a look of sand that you want rather than a perfect guide for specific sand in the outcome. So I hope this helps, let's dive in. So the first thing we want to do is select the curve tool and choose a color that we want our sand to look like. Here I can really recommend you to choose um, a color with the individual color palette. You can get that in the D with the DS4 on the touchpad. Um, you don't need to worry, this is completely also possible with the DS4. I would say it's just a little bit easier with the move controller since smearing in general is a little bit easier with the move controllers. So then we stretch our, our curve tool for a look that we want and once we have that we just start smearing like little waves. Here you can really try out with how you want it to look like and what works best for you in the end combined with the other techniques. Now once we're done with that, we now want to start soft blending another shape into our waves. For this I can really recommend you to try out a lot, you can choose any shape that you want to. I can recommend um, a transform sphere or a donut though. Also don't forget to activate the varying looseness which is basically just a texture which you can adjust later on. And what would be a desert without pyramids, right? So you, for sand I like to use pyramids as well. Depends on what kind of sand you want though, if it's just a beach then maybe not. But yeah, here again, just try out with whatever shape you feel like is making your sand look better. Now once we're happy with that we can go onto the tools and select the looseness option. With that we can pretty much adjust the flex or the texture of the varying looseness that I mentioned earlier. If we make it as sharp as possible, it's basically like the flex become as small as possible and this makes your whole sculpture look sharper and more realistic. Then we go back onto the stamp mode and choose any kind of shape we want to. I mostly tend to prefer a transform sphere and now we start subtracting in the um, soft blend mode. I also can recommend to turn off um, varying looseness here. Soft blending like that really is useful for any kind of smearing technique as well because it just brings out the texture a lot more. Also we kind of smooth out our whole landscape with it which is always useful. If you would like to support me even more as an artist feel free to become one of my Patreons where you will get access to even more little guides and showcases as well as some exclusive art and some early screenshots to my own game. You can find the link to that in the info box on the top right now and in the description down below. Now there's one more thing that we can add to our sand structure and for that we want to use a cube and transform it to a longer one and we basically pretty much soft blend it into the existing structure and with that I think you can see what I mean, what I'm trying to achieve there. I think there are still better techniques for that still, but yeah, feel free to try out for yourself and see how it goes. I feel like this tutorial is specifically a lot about trying out and finding your own ways by using these techniques. Once we are done with our whole asset, we can pretty much use existing shapes that we made to smooth out our whole surface. There's still little adjustments and stuff that you maybe want to fix or maybe want to make look better. You could pretty much work endlessly on this but yeah here you can see what I'm doing here just making little fixes and changes to the overall structure and yeah after that we can get to the final touches. So here's the final outcome of the structure or asset that I created. As you can see it has some nice looking sand structure in it and some nice little details. And now we can actually go on and make the final steps or touches on it. 
For that we go into the options menu of the sculpture first, you, you can um, adjust the color amount of it. With that you create basically a color in mixture of the spray paint and this color amount. It smooths it out a lot and I recommend you to try it out. Then for the finish I recommend you to put a little bit of roughness and just a little bit of metalness on it. But you can also try out with shininess. And in the second tab we also higher the color amount a little bit to make it like a little bit more corny. Um, in the styles mode we want to choose the dots flag since I feel like that fits sand the most. And you can also add a little bit of impasto to it to make it come out a little bit more. It looks like some corny little sand. Especially if you have a closer look on it you can really see it. And if we have a look on the thermo now, we can see that this huge asset has 8%, which is still a little bit lot. We can lower it by using the sculpture detail and reducing the detail by 1. Now it's only 5% anymore and I feel like that's the right step because it also smooths it out just a little bit more. I feel like that's the perfect touch here. Now here comes the fun part. Just take out the sun and have a look at the lighting. Change the angle of the sun and just have a look how awesome your sand looks like by changing that. And with that we can pretty much start building a scene and that's what I will show you now. Here's a quick look on how huge of a world you can actually build with this and this is only 1% gameplay and 5% graphics so I could clone this many 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 more times so who said you can't make open worlds and dreams? This is awesome. But yeah, with that, I would like to thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, that you found it helpful. If so, please give it a like, some feedback and share it with others so they can learn these techniques as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to not miss out on future videos. I'll see you in the next one.